We will use, uh, I have the rollers nearby, and I think we will use the roller with our core as well. So um, we'll do some lying on the roller. So, sitting on those mats. So let's stretch the hips out first, stretch the upper body out. So just rub those hands up and down those legs, get a bit of blood flow going. Get a bit of movement circulation, rubbing all the way over the top of those thighs, all the way down through those calves. Reaching forward, so as you come forward, let those knees soften, bring that tummy button onto those thighs. And then sitting yourself up, roll those shoulders up to the ears, roll them round and back. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, pop the hands on the floor, lift that chest up, so finding those seat bones. So just lift your chest up, so get your body a bit more vertical, mum. Don't rest, so my hands are used as props to push forward as opposed to leaning on them. And then Jane, shoulders back, get those shoulders behind you. So shimmying on that bum side to side, feel those seat bones, and then take those hands away and feel that you can hold yourself nice and straight. Okay, so now just put your hands back on the floor there behind you and don't lean on them. Don't lean on the mum, shoulders back, and use them to push that body upwards and forwards. So we're not leaning back on the arms, we're hold, using them like a tent post. Now push those knees down towards the floor, release those hands off the ground, and then lie yourself forward, roll yourself forward. So come down onto those knees. So Jane, really bring that um, pelvis towards those knees more. Yeah, good, good Helen, good, good Sarah. Sarah, really push through that lower back, get some movement there, mum, that's great. Get a nice, get a nice even curve through that back. So pushing out through the waistband of the trousers out through that middle back, upper back, and then lengthen the head towards the toes so that you stretch. And then put those hands around your feet if you can, breathing in, and on the out breath, pull that body forward so you pull that tummy towards those thighs. <clears throat> Holding your body here, push the right knee down towards the floor, and then push the left knee down towards the floor, and then push the right knee down and push that left knee down. And then push both knees down, pushing that head over those feet, and then release those hands on the feet, come to sit up vertically. And now it should be easier to sit up a bit more vertical because you've been leaning so far forward. Roll those shoulders round, put those hands on the floor, so don't lean on them. Just rest the fingers on the floor, push off the hands, lift the chest up, push the head up to the sky. Really pushing the tummy towards the thighs. Take that chin all the way up, look up at the sky. And then bring that head all the way down into that chest. Pulling those shoulder blades together. <clears throat> and then turning the head to the left. So pulling those shoulder blades together, pulling that right ear away from that right shoulder. And then bringing those eyes through. Pulling that left ear away from that left shoulder. Pushing off those hands again, lifting that chest up, taking the eyes to the left side of the left leg again, pulling those shoulders away from the, ear, the ears again. Pulling those shoulders away from the chest, opening the chest, lengthening. Just rotate that face so that we're turning it a bit clockwise, a bit anti-clockwise. Changing the stretch in the neck and then bring the eyes back to the center <clears throat> and then bring the eyes to the right side of that right leg. And again, lift that chest up, pushing off those hands, turn that face a bit left, a bit right. A bit left, a bit right. A bit clockwise, but anti clockwise, however you want to see it. Bring the eyes back to the center, pushing the chest forward, and then bring the eyes to horizontal. Let those hands come off the floor, breathing in, put them on the legs, breathing out, slide all the way back down to those feet. Bend your knees a little bit and get your fingers over your toes. So I've got the toes into the wrist, fingers into the arch of my foot, push those toes away, stretch through those armpits, lengthen. 
Stretching, lengthening. Feel the stretch through the lower back, feel it through the middle back, feel it through the upper back. Push those knees down towards the floor and then pull those toes towards your face, just gently, so that you feel the stretch come into the calf. Point those toes away, the stretch goes out of the calf. Pull those toes towards, the stretch comes back in the calf. Pull the knee to the floor, increase the intensity. Release the feet, bring yourself all the way up tall. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Pop the right hand on the left knee, left hand behind you. Push off that left hand, lift that left chest up. Turn that body round to the left. Look over that left shoulder. And then come back round to the front. Pop the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind. Lift that right chest up. So lift the chest up, turning round, looking over that right shoulder. <coughs> Good, and then come back round to the front. Bring those arms up in front of you, and then collapsing the back. We're just gonna get that back moving a bit before we go on the roller, lowering all the way down to the floor, one burst at a time. Bring those arms all the way over the head. Reach, let those shoulders reach up to those ears. Reach and stretch those fingers away from the toes. Walk the hands to the right-hand side of the mat. And walk the feet to the right and lift the bum over to the left. Take hold of that left hand in the right, right left wrist in the right hand. Cross the right leg over the left so we keep the hips down. Reach that left hand away, breathing in. Breathing out. Bring those hands back to the center. Bring the feet to the center. Lift the bum up, put it on the right side. <clears throat> and then bring those feet to the left. Bring those hands to the left. Cross the right, left leg over the right. Hold that right wrist in that left hand and pull that right arm away, lengthening through that arm, breathing in. Breathing out, release. Roll back onto the back. Bring those, uh, keep those arms overhead. Reach those fingers away so the shoulders come up to the ears. Now pull those shoulders down towards the waist, keeping those arms on the ground. The elbows might bend a little bit. And you can shimmy the body so you get those shoulders down. <clears throat> Bring those arms up to the sky, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. So right now my spine is a little bit off the floor. I'm going to pull my ribs down towards the floor into those shoulders. I'm going to push the shoulders in the floor, lift those ribs up so we can separate the ribs away from the shoulders a bit. And then we can pull those ribs down into the floor, flattening those shoulders heavier onto the ground. I'm going to flatten that lower back by tilting the pelvis. Bring the pubic bone up, bring the tailbone off the floor, flatten that lower back, flatten the top edge of the pelvis, the top ridge. Allow the pelvis to rock so the tailbone goes down, the pubic bone goes down, and the <coughs> iliac crest, so the, the, the love handle area comes up. And then we can tilt the pelvis, lift the tailbone up, lift the pubic bone up, push that iliac crest down or the waist down. Keep those ribs on the floor. Come into the neutral position. Bring those arms down by your side. Pop your fingers on your pelvis. Feel your pubic bone. Feel the bony bits on the front edge of the, of the pelvis. Check that's horizontal to the floor. Lower back slightly lifted. Bring those arms down to the ground, palms up, breathing in. On the out breath, push off those upper arms. Keep the fingers so they can touch the legs. Push off those upper arms and squeeze and lift that back up off the ground. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lower that back to the floor, flatten it. Bring those arms up to the sky, reach. Bring those arms back down to the ground, lifting that spine up off the ground, pushing those upper arms into the floor. Bring those arms up into the sky, push that spine into the floor, reach those hands up. So we're doing exactly what we did sitting where we arched and bent our back. Bring those arms down, arching that back up. Now slide your fingers under your bum. 
and then push off those elbows and come up onto the top of your head. Breathing in, fill your lungs up with air, spread your ribs. Breathing out, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift those ribs up, push the tailbone in the floor, push the elbows in the floor, and then lower that back down to the ground. Bring the right knee in, bring the left knee in, bring the nose to the knee. So this is like when we reach forward to our feet, bringing the nose to our knees, we're curling our back, and then we release. And then we curl our back again, bring the nose to the knees again. And then we release and we do it once more. Nose to the knees, tailbone up, shoulders are up. Release, pop the left foot on the floor, pop the right foot, straighten those legs out, slide the hand under the bum, push those upper arms into the floor, push the elbows, come onto the top of the head, breathing in, fill your lungs up with air, spread those toes, breathing out, Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Breathing in. Fill the lungs up with air. Breathing out. Squeeze and lift. And then release and lower down to the ground. Bring those arms up. Bring that chin into the chest and roll yourself all the way up. Hands on those legs, rolling all the way forwards, reaching towards those toes, stretching through that spine. And then bring yourself back up to sitting. Bring your roller in. <coughs> okay, feet flat. So if you want, yeah, feet flat. So we're just going to arch over the roller. So rest the roller on the bottom ribs. So we're going to breathe in. Take hold of the head and the hands, breathing out. Push that chest up to the sky. Stretch. Breathing in at the bottom. Breathing out, bring that body back up again. So as you go down, really feel the stretch through the fascia under the belly, as through the belly and under the ribs. Breathing out, stretching. Push the tailbone down into the floor, breathing in. Breathing out, lifting all the way back up. Breathe in at the top, move the roll up. Breathing out, push that breastbone up to the sky. Release the head down, breathing in. Breathing out, lifting that body back up. So we're pushing the back into the roller to lift. Move the roller down um, a little bit more, breathing in. Breathing out, lengthening. Make sure the roller's still under the shoulders. Pushing that chest up. And then holding it here, just lengthening that neck. Just use your thumbs, push your head away from your shoulders and then bring that chin back up and then move the roller one more time. And then let, let your head come back. So the top of your head touches the floor, the back of the head's on the roller. Take those palms together, push them away above your head. Let that chest stretch. Let those armpits stretch and then bring that arm back in. Take hold of the head and the hands, bring that head back up. And then lifting the bum off the floor, roll the roller all the way down to those bottom ribs. Keeping that body arched over it. One breath down, one breath back up. And then breathing out as you go down, keeping the head low, keeping the bum low. And then rolling on towards that right hand side. And then going, taking four rolls to get completely on your right. <clears throat> so it's like rolling a big lump of pastry. You have to, uh, yeah, pastry. You have to, you don't just roll it and let ruts go in it. You roll it all evenly. Keep it all going smooth onto the side. All the way up all the way down and then back onto the back and then all the way back onto the back all the way down and then all the way back up and then over onto the left through that left side and you just move your feet around helping yourself 
Rolling over, keeping the roller going. So as the roller goes, you turn, like turning a sausage. Roll the way down, roll it back up. All the way down. And back over onto the back. And then all the way over. All the way onto your back. Big breaths. And then resting with that roller in the middle of that thoracic spine. Pushing that chest up high, taking those palms together, reaching those hands away, stretching. Feel the stretch in the fascia. Pull the shoulders down towards the waist, bring those arms back up. Take hold of the head in the hands, bring it back up, and then lifting yourself up off the roller. So we try to keep the roller moving so it doesn't point those. So just pop that out of the way for a minute. <clears throat> and sitting yourself up nice and tall. So bring those arms up high. Breathing in and on the out breath, roll all the way down to the floor. So our spine should be more mobile now. Keep the arms by the side. Roll those shoulders into the floor. Pull those shoulders down towards the waist. Pushing those fingers down towards the heels. Pushing those elbows into the floor. Let that chest lift up. Push those elbows harder in the floor. Push the fingers under the bum and lift up onto the top of the head. So it should be easier to do this fish pose now. Pushing off those elbows, fill those lungs up with air. Spread those ribs, breathing out, squeeze, squeeze those shoulders together and lift that spine up further. And then lower yourself down to the floor. Breathing in, lift that right knee up, lift that left knee up. Bring those knees into the chest, keeping the head on the floor, lift the tailbone up and release. Bring the knees into the chest, bring the tailbone up and release. Hold on to those knees, <clears throat> turn the tailbone down. So let's get the spine in neutral. So roll those shoulders. So I have to jiggle myself around. I can push off the back of my head, lift my shoulders up, move them in place, rock from side to side, get those shoulders down away from the ears, get them, the shoulder blades flat on the ground and then pull those ribs into those shoulder blades, lengthening. The bottom ribs and the top ribs and then turning that tailbone down a little bit so we've got neutral spine let those knees drop apart put those hands on the inside of your knees holding onto the shin bone let those knees drop apart pull the shoulders away from the ears lengthen the head away from the tailbone <clears throat> feeling the stretch on the inner thigh push on that right leg push on that left leg rock that pelvis Push right, push left, push right, push left, push right, push left. Let the rock come less, push both, let them open. Hold them there. Now pull those knees into the hands as if you're trying to bring them together, but don't let them move. Lengthening the head away from the tailbone all the time, keeping those ribs on the floor, keeping those shoulders away from the ears. Breathing in, breathing out. Release the push of the knees and let those legs stretch further apart. Straighten that left leg out. So I've got my hand on the inner thigh. Straighten the right leg out, point those toes. <clears throat> Try to have those knees straight. Try to let those legs come as close as they can to the floor. Flex those feet, comes into the calf. Point the toes, goes away. Flex the feet, comes into the calf. Circles with those feet one way. Circles with those feet the other way. Relax those feet. Hold those legs, pull them apart. Bend those knees in and bring those knees back together. Hold on to that left knee, let that left, right knee go out straight. Pull the left knee in towards you, tighten the right thigh and pull the right knee to the floor so that you stretch through the groin. Turn the tailbone down to the floor a bit. You feel the stretch change into that right hip. Reaching that right leg away from the left leg, stretching through that groin. 
Bring that left leg all the way over the right leg to the floor on the right hand side. Let that left hand go away, turn the eyes left. So lift your head up and turn it so you turn that left ear to the floor. Push that left hand away, pull that left knee to the floor. Feel the stretch through the back, push the hip after the knee, push that shoulder after the hand, breathing in. On the out breath, push the hip after the knee, push the shoulder after the hand, let the breastbone turn to the sky, let the tummy button come over. Stretch through that middle, push that right leg away. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Roll onto that right hand side, support the head with the underneath arm. Take hold of this left foot in the left hand. Look down the body, check you can see the pubic bone. Breastbone, tummy button, pubic bone, straight line. Left foot in the left hand. Pull that shoulder up to the ear down and back and left, let that left knee drift behind the body. Push that foot into the hand and feel the stretch through the front of the hip, through the front of the leg. Breathing in, breathing out, clenching, lengthening. Breathing in, push that foot in the hand and then release. Roll back onto the back. Pull that knee in towards the body. Turn that foot. Bring the right knee in. Put the left foot on the right knee. Push the left leg away. <clears throat> Hold that leg in that rotation. Push that knee into the hand. Left knee pushing into the left hand. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Breathing in. On the out breath, release the push. And then extend that left knee further away by using the left hand, pull that left foot up. And then release, let that right leg go away, let that left foot go, but hold the knee, pull the leg up. And then release that left leg out straight, take the arms overhead, reach and stretch. Bring those arms up to the sky, bring that right knee in. Push that left leg straight, tighten the thigh. Stretch through the groin, pull that right knee in, breathing in. On the out breath, pull that right knee over the body, push that right hand away, turn the eyes right, so I lift my head and I turn it, so my right ear goes to the floor, straighten that left leg, straighten that chest, push that right hand away, push the shoulder after it, push that left, uh, sorry, that right knee to the floor, and push the hip after it, feel the stretch through your torso. Lifting those ribs up, keep the shoulder away from the ears. Lifting the ribs, lifting the breastbone, turning the tummy button away from the hip. And then release onto that left hand side. Roll over onto the left. Lifting the hips up, support the head with the underneath hand. Look down at the pubic bone, tummy button, breastbone. Take hold of that right foot in that right hand. See the legs in front of the body and then extend by pushing the foot into the hand. Extend that right leg out behind you. Pushing that foot away, keeping that core strong, clenching with the bum, pulling the pubic bone forward. And then release. <clears throat> Roll back onto the back. Bring that right knee in, push that left leg uh, away, tighten the thigh, push the knee uh, into the floor. Turn this left foot, this right foot, bring that left leg in, rest the right foot on the left knee, hold on to the left knee, push that right leg away. Breathing in, breathing out, hold that right knee away. Now push the right knee into the right hand, pushing the knee into the hand, Pushing the tailbone down to the floor. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Lengthen that rotation by pushing that right leg away, pulling the right foot towards. Release that left leg, release that right foot, keep hold of that right knee, pull the right knee up, push the left leg away, tighten the left thigh. Neutral spine of that pelvis, so the tailbone's down, small lift of the lower back, all those ribs are on the floor. 
And then release that right leg away. Take the arms overhead, reach and stretch. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Bring those arms all the way down to the side. Bend those knees up and put them close to your bum. <clears throat> so palms up, shoulders then come flat on the floor. Shoulder blades come flat on the floor. So loose toes, loose balls of the feet, breathing in. On the out breath, flatten that back, tilt that pelvis. So pubic bones up, iliac crest is down, but the rest of the spine's on the floor. So in this position, keep those shoulders on the ground, push the head away from the, from the chest. Keep that neck lengthened. Now flatten, uh, sorry, now tilt the pelvis, uh, tailbone down, iliac crest lifts, so the waist lifts. Um, the, uh, the ribs are all staying on the floor. Flatten that back by tilting the pelvis. Keep it bone up, tailbone up, and then continue the up by curling that whole back, coming all the way onto your shoulders. Now just shimmy, rock from one shoulder to the other and make sure that they're as underneath and as down as they can go. And clench with the bum, so we're inverting that hip. We're pushing the, the uh, pubic bone up to the sky. The bum's really tight and clenched. So it should be a bum exercise, not hamstring. And then lower that back, one vertebra at a time, all the way down to the ground. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in. On the out breath, flatten the back, pubic bone up, lift. Push through, that, push through the glutes. Keep those knees so legs together, don't let them splay out. And then lower that back down to the floor. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in. On the out breath. Flatten the back, lift the pubic bone up, drive those hips into the sky, lengthen the head away from the shoulders. So with pubic bone up, hold ourselves here. Push through the right heel, push through the left heel, <clears throat> push through the right heel. So the knee is pushing down, pushing the heel in the floor and the other end of the thigh is pulling the hip up. Push through the left heel, the knee pulls, pushes down, so the thigh bone pushes down at the knee end, up at the pubic bone end. Push on the right side, so we lift that hip up higher. Push on the left side, lift that hip up higher. Push on both sides, so both knees push down, both bums push up. And then lower the back down to the floor, one vertebra at a time. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in. On the out breath, flatten the back, push through the heels, come all the way back up. So think of it as a lever. The lever pushes down on the knee, up at the pelvis, pushing that pubic bone high. The tummy muscles are engaged, stopping the back from arching. Legs, uh, arms are lengthened, pulling those shoulders away from the ears. Lift that left heel up, put it down. Lift that right heel up, put it down, lower the body back down to the floor. Good, arch the back at the bottom. Okay, um, one more, flatten the back, push through those heels, lift that body up, pushing those hands down towards the feet, lengthening, pushing those knees into the floor, pushing that pubic bone up, drawing the tummy and protecting the lower back. Lift that right heel. Push the hips over to the right as we lift the right heel so we stay in column. Keep the shoulders from shrugging. Put the right heel down. Lift the left heel and push the hips over to the left. So the hip is controlled by the right glute. Lower that hip left heel down. Push the left heel in the floor. Push the hips over to the right slightly. Lift that right leg up. Push those arms in the floor and see if you can take the right foot off the floor. Put it back down. And then push the right heel in the floor, push those arms in the floor, push the hips over to the left slightly, lift the left heel. See if you can lift the left foot up and put it down. And then lower that back down to the ground. Arching at the bottom, Rounding, pull those knees off the uh, feet off the floor, hug those knees into the chest with the tailbone up and release. Hug the knees into the chest and release. Hug the knees in and release.
Take those arms out like a scarecrow. Lift those feet up away from the bum. Drop those feet over to the right. Turn the eyes to the left. So we just loosen that lower back. Now laying with the legs to the right, eyes left. Just straighten that uh, left leg, the top leg. Just kick it away. So we increase the stretch in that hamstring. Increase the stretch in the iliotibial band down the side of the leg. Bend that leg back in. Push off those arms, lift those legs back up. You can keep the feet on the floor if you want and rock over, or you can have the feet off the floor. Feet are over to the left. Turn those eyes right, pushing those knees to the floor. Kick that right leg up straight. So, we, so it's on the ground, the foot stays on the ground. Feeling the stretch through the iliotibial band, feeling the stretch through the body. Slide that foot on the floor back round for bending, rest the leg on the other leg and lift those legs back up to the top. Drop them over to the right again. I do lift my bum up and just move it so that I get it aligned so that when I'm lying on the side, my spine is straight. Lift those knees up, come over the other way. Eyes over to the right. And then back up to the center, bring those hands down by the side. Keep those palms up, shoulders back on the floor. Lift that right leg up, put it down. Lift that left leg up, put it down. Now notice, what did you do with your core? What did you do with your spine? So embed those feelings of what you've got to do. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Put those ribs all on the floor. Tilt the pelvis so the tailbone is pushing down. So I'm resting on the lower part of my pelvis, upper part slightly lifted. Draw in the core like you're stopping yourself having a wee and lift the right leg up. So all those things want to become automatic. Tap the right heel on the floor, lift it back up. Tap the right heel on the floor by moving the thigh, lift it back up. Don't change the angle of the knee. Tap the right foot on the floor and leave it there. Lift that left leg up. Tap that left heel on the floor. Lift that left leg up. Tap the left leg down. Lift it back up. Tap it down. Lift it up and hold it. Bring that right leg up to join. Tap the left leg down for three and lift. For two and lift. For one, no movement in the shoulders or the core or the head. Tap the right leg down for three and lift. For two and lift. For one and lift. Tap both feet down for three. Draw the core in strong and lift. For two, you have to really work as both as they get close to the floor. <clears throat> for one and lift. Take that left leg halfway out to straight. Bring it back up. Take the right leg halfway out to straight. Bring it back up. Left leg halfway out to straight. Bring it back up. Right leg halfway out to straight. Bring it back up. Left leg halfway out to straight. Now slide it straight on the floor. If you want, you can keep it just off the floor. Slide it back in, bring it back up. Right leg halfway out to straight. Slide it out to straight. Slide it back in, bring it back up. Left leg halfway out to straight. Slide it out to straight. Slide it back in, bring it back up. Right leg halfway out to straight. Slide it out to straight, bring it back in, bring it back up. Bring those arms straight up into the sky. Keep those shoulder blades tight. Keep those shoulder blades flat on the floor. Right arm down to the floor over your head. Bring it back up. Left leg down to the floor over your head. Bring it back up. Right arm is going down to the floor while the left leg goes out to the floor and then straightens. Bring that leg back in on the ground, bring it back up, bring the arm up. 
So arms and legs at the same time. So your right arm's going over to the floor, left leg's going out halfway and then sliding. Leg out, arm down, slide that leg out straight, slide that leg back in, bring it back up. Right arm down, uh, sorry, left arm down, right leg. Extend the leg, bring it back in, bring the whole thing back up. Right arm, left leg. Down to the floor, extend, bring it in, bring it back up. Both arms down, both legs down. Extend those legs, slide them on the ground. Keep that core strong, don't let the back arch. Bring those legs back in. Bring those legs and arms back up. So you've got to be stronger on the tummy muscles. Take those arms and legs down, feet to the floor. Extend those legs out straight. Bring those legs back in. Bring those arms back up and the legs. Legs and arms down to the floor. Extend those legs out straight. Bring those legs back in. Bring the arms and legs back up. Pop the feet on the floor. Take the legs out straight. Chin into the chest. Lift yourself all the way up. Hands on the legs. Reaching all the way forwards. Bend those knees up. Sit yourself up. Lift that chest up high. And cross those arms over. And you're going to lean back. So lean back as far as is comfortable. I need you to stay in neutral spine. So don't, I don't want you going back and collapsing like this. So if you can only hold yourself straight vertically and then back a little, then that's fine. If you can hold yourself a long way back, go there. Whatever is comfortable. Elbows crossed. Turn the body right. <clears throat> back to the centre. Turn the body left. Back to centre. So you're turning from your tummy. Lift the chest up, turn right. Back to centre. Lift the chest, turn left. Back to centre. Lift the chest, turn right. Back to centre. Lift the chest, turn left. Back to centre. Sarah, this is good for riding. Turning to the right. Lift the chest up. Back to centre. This is how we turn. Turn left. Back to centre, bring those arms out in front. Okay, keeping the chest up, bring the right foot up off the floor. Pop it down. Bring the left foot up. Pop it down. Bring the right foot up. If you want to hold that right knee with your hand, you can. If not, that's fine. Bring the left foot up too. Lift the chest up. Put the right foot down. Put the left foot down. Bring the left leg up. Bring the right leg up. Put the left leg down, put the right leg. Pop those legs out straight, bring yourself up to vertical. Rub those thighs. Rub those thighs, hold behind the knees, pull yourself up nice and tall. Right, grab your roller in. Grab your roller, we're gonna have it long ways on the mat. Okay, so it's long ways on the mat. You're gonna lift yourself up. And you're going to sit on the very end of the roller. Sit your tailbone on the very end, hands on the floor, and then lower yourself. You can let them splay out. Lower yourself down onto the roller. So I've got my head on the roller. Tailbone is level with the end of the roller. So find the middle position so that your feet are evenly either side of the roller. My forearms are on the ground. The further apart my arms are, obviously, the more stable. I'm going to keep my arms so that they're not too far from the side of my body. So lower back, slightly lifted. So my pubic bone and my uh, bony bits on my pelvis are parallel to the floor still. Drawing in that core, ribs down. Bottom ribs, middle ribs, top ribs. Back of the head's on the floor. Squeeze those shoulder blades into the roller. So now we've got something to actually squeeze the inside edge of our shoulders into the roller here. Pushing, uh, supporting with those elbows, right? Drawing that core in as if you're stopping yourself having a wee. Pushing through the heels, lift that right leg up. So we've got to go further with the leg now. Lower that leg down to the floor. 
So don't let those shoulder blades pull away from the roller. Lift that right leg up. So it's a lot of tummy. Lower that right leg down to the floor, keeping those shoulder blades squeezing on the roller. Don't lose the contact. Lift that right leg up. Lower that right leg down. Lift that right leg up. Lower that right leg down. There's a lot of core work going on here. Okay, leave the right leg on the floor. The ball of the foot's off the floor. Draw the core and lift the left leg up. Don't let the spine lift. Lower the left leg down. Keep those shoulders in control. Don't let them hunch. Lift that left leg up. Lengthen the neck. You shouldn't feel it in your neck. Lower that left leg down. Lift that left leg up. Lower that left leg down. The exercise is in the tummy. Lift that left leg up. Leave it there. Lift the right leg up as well. Make sure that your tailbone is on the roller, that you're not arching your back around it because it's, it's falling off. So holding yourself with those knees above, above your body. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades into the roller. Lower that right leg to the floor. Lift that right leg up. Lower that left leg to the floor. Lift the left leg up. So the first thing is we're doing more extension of the hip. Second thing is we're on something wobbly. Lower that left leg down. Keep those shoulders pulling into the roller. Lift the left leg, the right leg up. So the shoulder blades pulling into the roller means we um, have a reference of hunching the upper back. Lower the left leg down. Bring the left leg up. Lower the right leg down. Now take that leg out straight. Feel the stretch through that hip flexor. Don't let that back arch. Bring that right leg back in. Bring that right leg up. Lower the left foot down to the floor. Extend that left leg out straight. Extend through that um, hip flexor. Drawing in the core, don't let the lower back arch. Bring that left leg back in. Bring it back up. Right leg down, foot to the floor. Extend that leg out straight, push. Extend, tighten the knee, make it straight. Bring that leg back in, bring it back up. Left leg down to the floor. Take that leg out straight, extend. Bring that leg back in, bring it back up. Right leg down to the floor. This time, bring the left knee towards the chest as you push that right leg away. Stretch through those hip flexors. Stretch through the groin. Bring that left leg, that right leg back in. Take the left leg down to the floor and pull that right knee towards you as you do it, but don't turn, the, don't bend the, the waist. Bring that left leg back in. Bring it back up. Breathing in on the out breath, both heels to the floor. Extend both legs out straight. Keeping that core strong. Both legs are on the feet or on the floor. Knees are locked. So you're bending and inverting that hip. Drag that feet, those feet back along the floor with the tummy muscles. Lift them back up. Breathing in. On the out breath, draw in the core. Both feet down to the floor. Now try flattening that lower back on the ground and extending those legs out straight, keeping the back flat on the ground. Keep the shoulder blades squeezing on that roller. Extend through those hips, feel those tummy muscles working. Bring those legs back in and bring them back up. Okay, I'd like to keep the neutral spine. So we're gonna have a slight lift on the lower back as we do that. So breathing in. On the out breath, keeping that core strong, feet to the floor, extend both legs straight, opening through those hips, squeezing those shoulders into the roller, bring those legs back in and bring them back up. Hold them here. Take those arms out to a scarecrow position, that's at 90 degrees to the body. Lift those feet up so that the knees are 90 degrees. Rock onto that right hand and lift that left arm up to the sky. So we're leaning on the right on the right arm. Pull the shoulder away from the, uh, the ears. Bring that left arm out wide to the floor. Bring that left arm up in the sky. 
Bring that left arm out wide. So we've got to keep the core strong. Bring that left arm up into the sky. Bring it down to the floor. Now rock the roller onto that left arm. Bring that right arm up into the sky slowly. Keep neutral spine, take that right arm down to the ground, shoulders are on the floor, pull those shoulders towards each other into the roller. Pull those lower ribs into the roller. Small lift off the lower back, lift that right arm up into the sky. Keeping those, roll those shoulders squeezing into the roller, take that right arm out wide. Bring that right arm all the way up. Bring that right arm all the way down. Okay, this time leaning on the right hand, bring the left hand all the way up and put the right foot on the floor, slide that leg out straight. Bring that leg back in, take the hand back down to the floor. Lean onto that left side. Take the right foot over and bring the, sorry, left foot over, bring the right hand up. Extend that leg out straight. Bring that leg back in, take that hand back to the floor, bring that leg back up. One more on each side, lean on that right hand. Take that right foot down, bring the left hand up. Extend the right leg out straight. Bring that right leg in, take that hand back to the floor. Bring that right arm up, bring that left leg down. Extend that leg out straight. Bring that leg back in, take that hand back down to the floor. Lower both feet to the floor, breathing in. Bring both arms up to the sky. Breathe out, take both hands, palms together, all the way over the head, down to the floor. Stretching through that tummy, so pushing through those heels, flatten that back, arch that back, flatten that back. Feel how when you flatten those ribs down, there's more strain through the armpits. Feel how when you arch that back up, the strain on the armpits goes. So if you're restricted in your shoulders, you will, um, you will arch your back in order to be able to take your hands over your head. Flattening your back in the floor, bring those, bring those hands away from the floor, breathing in. On the out breath, Release those shoulders, let them pull down and back. Let them go so the hands touch the toe, come nearer to the ground. Breathing in, bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Breathing out, roll your body all the way up off that roller. Move that roller out of the way. Well done, everybody. So a bit of core stuff. All right, coming, um, let's come over onto our tummy. So we'll come over onto our stomach. So legs out straight. Legs out straight onto our bellies. So adjust yourself so that your hips and your, leg, your legs are straight, your hips are straight and your, um, your spine is straight. Rest your forehead on the ground. Hands and forearms on the floor. <laughs> Have a fingertips are level with the top of your head. So clench your bum, push the pubic bone in the floor. Draw the core in, lift the belly up, tighten the thighs and lift those legs up. So we stabilize the pelvis and the spine. Roll those shoulders up to the ears down and back. Lift those hands and forearms up and lower. Hands and forearms up and lower. Hands and forearms up, hold them. And now we lift the whole arm up into the sky, tuck the elbow down. Whole arm up and down. Whole arm up, just tap the elbow on the floor. Whole arm up, lift it. Now pulse those arms up in the sky for five, four, three, two, hold up at one. Lift that head up off the floor, keep the eyes looking straight down, push the feet away from the top of the head, so my nose is only an inch off the floor. Pulse those arms up in the sky for five, four, three, two, one. Hold that, lower that head to the floor. 
Lower those arms, lower those legs. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Clench the bum, draw the core in, tighten the thighs, lift those legs up. Draw the belly in, lift that up, breathing in. On the out breath, hand and forearm up, whole arm up. Lift that right leg up for five, clenching the bum, four, three, two, four, one. Lift that right, uh, left leg up for five, four, the bum's lifting, three, two, one. Lift the right leg up. So you're pushing the pubic bone in the floor, which lifts the knee up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the left leg, push the pubic bone down and lift. Four, three, two, one. Hold those legs down, lift both legs for three, two, one. And then lift the arms for three, two, one, and then lower everything down. Roll over onto your left hand side. Roll onto your left, put your left leg straight. Arms are out straight on the floor. Bring that right leg over and under the left leg. Rest the head on the ground, breathing in on the out breath. Bring that top arm all the way up into the sky, all the way over and reach, stretching through that spine. Bring those hands all the way back together, breathing in. On the out breath, bring that arm all the way up and open. So trying to keep that right knee on the floor, trying to keep that right hip vertical, trying to get that right shoulder on the ground, stretching through those ribs, bring those arms back together. And then open, turning the eyes, and then close. And then open, eyes turning, and then close. And then one more open. So we're leaving that spine. We've got a more neutral spine, vertebra and discs are flat to flat, and we're getting that rotation. Release those legs, let them ping up to the sky. Lift that body up, turn yourself over all the way onto that right side. Bring that left arm over so it stacks on top of the right hand. Underneath leg straight, top foot goes in under that bottom leg, breathing in. On the out breath, bring that top hand all the way up, all the way over to the floor on the other side. Reaching, keeping that top knee on the ground, Hip follows the knee, shoulder follows the hand. Bring that hand all the way back. Breathing in on the out breath, all the way up and over. And then close. Eyes are following the hand. Hands stack on top of each other at the finish here so that your shoulders become one on top of the other. Bring that top hand all the way over and open. And one more close. And then all the way over and open. Eyes are following. And then release those legs and let them come up. Bring that bum in so that you're nice and straight. Put the arms down by the side, straighten those legs, roll those shoulders up to the ears, slide those shoulder blades down towards the feet, lengthen that neck. Rock that neck, put that head from side to side. Rock that head. As you rock it over, the chin comes down towards the chest. Sorry, the shoulder. As I go over to the right, the chin's down to the, to the right shoulder. As I go to the left, the chin's down to the left shoulder. Don't hunch those shoulders up. Bring the eyes up to the center. Breathing in, drawing in that core, neutral spine, pull those shoulders in the floor, point those legs, lift that right leg straight up in the sky. Lower that right leg down. Lift that left leg straight up in the sky. Lower that left leg down. Pushing the tailbone in the floor. Lift the right leg straight up so it comes to 90 degrees. Lower it straight down. Lift that left leg straight up in the sky. Lower it down. Lift the right leg up. 
Bring the left leg up to slide the hands up the back of those legs. Pull those legs over your, over your face and stretch that lower back just as far as you can. And then release. Let those legs go up straight in the sky. Push the tailbone down, neutral spine. Flex those feet. Point those toes. Flex those feet. Circles one way. Circle the other way. Lower that left leg to the ground. Lower that right leg to the ground. Bring those arms up in the sky, breathing in. On the out breath, chin into the chest, roll yourself all the way up, hands on those legs, reaching all the way forward down towards those feet. Stretching through that back, let those knees come soft, bring yourself down low. Push those knees down into the ground and sit yourself up to vertical. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, down and back. Put the hands on the floor, push the chest forward. So we're lifting up straight. So lift up straight, mum, don't lean on those arms. So you're using them to push the chest forward. They're just like a tent, they're like a post in the center of a tent. Pushing off those hands, lifting up, bring those arms along the floor all the way up into the sky, breathing in. On the out breath, bring those arms all the way out wide, dust the floor, bring them up again, hold them at the top again, bring them up, pushing those hands up high, breathing in, breathing out, release your arms, rest them on your legs and roll your shoulders. Well done. That was a bit more cool work. <laughs>